Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to describe uh, about some very basic Linux commands. So this is good for the science students who uh, who want to use the high performance computing or other research software that are uh, just running on the Linux and they are not supported on Windows or due to any reason they have to use Linux. So um, this video will show you with very basic commands about how to use uh, the uh, the Linux uh, s operating system. So uh, you you can use any Linux system. There are uh, a lot of flavors of uh, Linux operating system. Um, I'm using Ubuntu. So Ubuntu uh, is uh, free and you can use it, you can download it. There, there are many others, so it doesn't matter whatever uh, Linux flavor you choose. There would be very little difference in the commands, uh, in, in some commands, mostly, most of the commands are universal and uh, they work on, on any of the Linux flavors. So you don't need to worry about which one to choose. You can choose any one according to your needs. So uh, I'll take you to the terminal. Um, definitely you can use graphical, interface yourself you don't need to learn that from somewhere because it's easy it's just like windows you have a mouse pointer and you can do anything so using linux on command line is more important because you have to use certain research software and other things from command line so i'll show you how can you do things using a command line in linux so uh, here we have, uh, I, I have connected uh, to Linux through Mobile Xterm because I'm using Windows and uh, uh, I have connected my Linux computer through uh, this uh, tool which is called Mobile Xterm. You can use any other like PuTTY or any uh, software that can SSH to a Linux uh, computer. So I'll show you uh, the most basic command to, sh to see the list of files is ls if I type ls, it shows me that there are different folders and directories here, uh, desktop documents, downloads, etc. So if you, I want to go into any of these directories or folders, I just write uh, cd. cd is the change directory. I mean, I, I want to enter any directory. I, I put cd in the name of the directory. Let's say I want to go to downloads. So there is one more thing. I just wrote DOW and uh, then press tab, it auto completes. So always try to use the tab key on the keyboard. Uh, it's just beneath the escape. There is another key beneath the escape and uh, beneath that is the tab. Uh, it's on top of caps lock, you can easily get it. So if you pre uh, press enter, you can see now that I have entered the downloads folder. So this sign is for your home. Uh, in your home directory, you have entered the downloads folder. Now, if I ls here, I can see that there are some files lying in there um, in this folder. So you have uh, used two commands till now, ls for listing the directories and files, and cd, cd is there to uh, enter any directory. So if I want to come back, go back of here, I can use cd space double dot that will take me back. So it's just like clicking the back button in Windows. You can simply go out of a directory. So I'll just come back in downloads and uh, uh, we, we can create here a directory or a file or anything. So if you want to make a directory or a folder, the directory is called folder in Windows. So I'll use the directory word. So that the command to make a directory is mkdir, so mkdir test. I'll just make a folder name test. So if I ls now, you can see that it has created the directory here, which was not present earlier. So now if I want to go to test, I put cd test. Now if I ls here, I can, you can see that there is nothing in there. It's just an empty directory. So to create a file here, I can just say, uh, there. I can use a text editor. There are numerous text editors in Linux. Um, one is vi, 
and then there is vim there is gedit if you have a graphical interface but i i try to use this nano nano is a very small text editor but it's good and have good options so you just write down nano and then file name let's say my first file dot text so i'm just making a text file you you should always use extensions you shouldn't make file names without extension because extensions are helpful like i'm using the extension dot txt i'll just uh, press enter and then here i should write hi this is my first linux lesson all right so now i want to save this file so you can see that here the help is given on the bottom um, it will tell me uh, how to write this file yeah you can see that to write out i need to press ctrl o this is for control symbol if i press ctrl o it asks for the file name i'm keeping the same file name which i gave it earlier i just press enter and it says wrote one line here so the file is saved now i just press here control x to exit if i want to see that file now see ls yeah you can see that the file is there if I want to just see the contents of this file, uh, I can open it in read-only mode. Uh, Nano is a text editor, definitely. If you open with Nano, you can edit it. But if I just want to see its content without editing it, I just uh, write down less and then file name. Enter. Here are the contents of the file. You can see. And then if you want to exit from here, just press Q. Uh, Q is to quit. So we have uh, learned a few commands to how to make a file, how to make a directory. Now, if I want to make a copy of this file, how can I do that? Um, if let's uh, consider that we want to make a copy of this file, my first file, to downloads folder. I'm already in test folder, but I want to make its copy in downloads folder you can see that here there is no file that named my first file so the simple command to copy is cp cp for copy but you can use a better version scp that is a secure copy uh, it's better than simply copying because it secures your copy and uh, i believe it uh, transfer the data in an encrypted form so I'll just scp my first file. So scp command works like scp source and then destination. Source is my first file. And what is the destination? I want to go back to downloads folder. So I just put two double dots. Two double dots, you know, uh, I told you if you want to go back from a folder, you just put cd double dot. Double dot is, it means one level up. So I want to copy this file one level up. I just put double dot slash. I don't need to write down the downloads. It just say double dot slash and it will copy the file one level up. I just press enter. Now, if I go back, cd double dot, go to downloads folder, ls again, you can see that the file that was not here originally is now there. It, it is a copy of the original file, um, which I just created in the test folder. What if I want to rename this file? To move the file, I mean cut paste, or to rename, the command is same. That is just move, mv, mv, my first file. If I want to move it somewhere, I just um, give the location here and then it, it will move the file there. But if I just want to rename it, what I do is I just write the move command with the original name and then the uh, new name dot text. What it will do is if you ls now, you can see that it has renamed the file, this one into this one. 
So um, now let's try move command. If I want to move this file uh, into the test directory, I want to move it to this test directory, I'll just write test, move this file into test, enter, now ls. There is no file, it's gone. If I cd into test and ls here, you can see that, okay, that file is here. I just moved it into the test folder. So uh, that's how you copy and move files um, across different destinations in, in Linux using the command line. Uh, there are different other options like uh, um, you can uh, uh, copy across the network as well um, and that's that's also not uh, very difficult uh, but uh, that is a little bit advanced lesson so I'll try to keep it uh, simple in this one and then in the next lesson uh, we'll try to learn more about some uh, more advanced commands like uh, permissions setting permissions on folders and directories and then uh, uh, many other things so i hope uh, you would have learned some basic stuff and you can handle a terminal a linux terminal at least uh, easily with these commands thank you very much for watching and if you have any questions you are welcome to comment in the comment section and i'll try to reach back to you as soon as i can thank you and goodbye